Hey parents, before we start this episode, remember that your family can enjoy hundreds of fun and educational free videos like this one for kids of all ages. Be sure to subscribe to get all the new shows and updates at PragerUKids.com. Welcome to Otto's Tales. I'm Jill. Did you set this up for me? No? Oh, well, it's really nice. You know, I always get hungry when it's time to read a story. I wonder... Otto! Hi! Hey, buddy. Um, do you know who set this up for me? You set this up for me? Wow! That's so thoughtful. Thank you. I'm guessing that you picked the story you want me to read today? <laughs> yes. Well... Then, let's read. Okay, wait. Wait, he says. It looks like he's getting something. And thank you. What is it? <laughs> a turnip. Wow, well, I've never tried a turnip before, but maybe I'll just add it to our beautiful table here. Okay, okay, I will read. Thanks, buddy. Are you ready to read? Yes. Let's read Mr. Rabbit's Thanksgiving Dinner. Once upon a time, old Mr. Rabbit sat in front of his little house, eating a ripe and juicy turnip. It was a cold, frosty day, and he was wrapped in his favorite wool muffler. The wind whistled through his whiskers, but Mr. Rabbit was nice and warm. Earlier that morning, he had started off, lippity-clippity, down the little path covered with shiny red leaves to go to Farmer Dwyer's corn patch. Mr. Rabbit soon found three fat ears of corn and dropped them into his bag. A little further down, he found some purple turnips, yellow carrots, and quite a few russet apples. Old Mr. Rabbit then went into Farmer Dwyer's barn and filled the rest of his bag with potatoes. He also grabbed a few eggs to make some pudding. Mr. Rabbit then started off toward home again. When he came to his little house, he emptied his bag and arranged his harvest in piles around his front room. Corn in one heap, carrots in another, turnips, apples, and potatoes. He then beat the eggs and put his pudding on the stove. Mr. Rabbit then went outside, thinking what a clever rabbit he was. As he sat in his warm muffler in front of his house, munching on the turnip, he heard a little noise in the leaves. Good morning, Billy Chipmunk, Mr. Rabbit greeted. Why are you running so fast? Because I'm cold and hungry, Billy Chipmunk replied. It's going to be a very hard winter with no apples. I've been looking all morning and haven't found one. Billy Chipmunk went chattering by, his fur standing straight up in the wind. In no time, Molly Mouse came creeping along the path, her long gray tail swishing and swirling all the shiny red leaves. Good morning, Molly Mouse, Mr. Rabbit greeted, taking another bite of his crunchy turnip. Good morning, Molly Mouse answered in a small, weak voice. Oh, Mr. Rabbit, she continued, what a very hard winter it will be. I've been looking and looking for an ear of corn, but it has all been harvested. Molly Mouse shook her tiny head and then trotted out of sight. Pretty soon, Mr. Rabbit heard somebody else coming down the path, hopping around and making a great to-do. Good morning, Tommy Chickadee, Mr. Rabbit exclaimed. But Tommy Chickadee just chirped and scolded because he was too cold and couldn't find a single crumb or berry to eat. He then flew away, feathers puffed out and looking like a round ball, chattering and scolding more. Old Mr. Rabbit finished his turnip, eating every single bit of it. He then went inside to check his pudding cooking on the stove. It bubbled and boiled and smelled delicious. Mr. Rabbit stopped and looked around his house. Piles of corn, carrots, turnips, apples, and potatoes surrounded him. 
he suddenly had a funny idea. Hmm. Different than any other idea he ever had before. Mr. Rabbit took off his warm muffler and put on his apron. He spread his best red tablecloth on his table and set his table with his fancy gold dinner set. By the time he was done, the pudding was cooked and steaming, so he set it in the middle of his table. Then he piled heaps of corn, carrots, turnips, apples, and potatoes all around the sweet pudding. Next, old Mr. Rabbit took down his rusty dinner bell. He had seldom rung it before. He stood in his front doorway, rang it very hard, and called, Dinner's ready! Come to dinner! Billy Chipmunk and Molly Mouse and Tommy Chickadee! One by one they came and brought their friends with them. Tommy Chickadee brought Rusty Robin, who had a broken wing and could not fly south for the winter. Billy Chipmunk brought Chatterchee, a lame squirrel who he had invited to share his hole for a few months. And Molly Mouse brought a young gentleman field mouse who looked very distinguished with long whiskers. They all stumbled into old Mr. Rabbit's house and forgot their manners. They began eating as fast as they could. Mr. Rabbit became so busy waiting on all of them that he didn't have any time to eat a bite of dinner himself. But he didn't mind, not one single bit. Seeing his friends eat made him feel full inside. When everyone finished, Tommy Chickadee hopped up on the back of his chair and chirped. Three cheers for old Mr. Rabbit's Thanksgiving dinner. Hooray, 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 they all twittered and chattered. And old Mr. Rabbit was so surprised that he thought fondly about this moment the whole next week. You see, he had given a Thanksgiving dinner without knowing that it really and truly was Thanksgiving Day. The end. I am hungry after that. What a beautiful tale about being helpful and compassionate. Otto, thank you for this story. I loved it. Yeah. Oh, good question. What does the word compassionate mean? Well, being compassionate means that you help someone who might be having bad luck or going through a hard time in life. Having compassion and caring for others when they need it is very important. But I think you might already know that since you set all of this up for me today. That means a lot, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> hey, are you hungry? <laughs> yes. Well, how about a turnip or an apple? <laughs> an apple. You got it. <laughs> Thank you for watching Otto's Tales. Check out some of our other stories, too. Keep reading, keep watching, and remember how meaningful it is to be compassionate when others need it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.